Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we're going to continue our series on getting started with Linux with a most popular um, request and that is how to install Linux onto an external hard drive. Uh, the same process will work when you are wanting to install onto a USB drive and uh, pretty much any other way. Now we're going to do this the safest way which is to remove all of the other hard drives uh, in your computer uh, prior to actually um, uh, doing the installation. That way you don't accidentally mess up any of those. You don't accidentally install on any target uh, that you don't mean to and, and whatever. So what is it that you are going to need? Well, you are going to need a hard drive um, or a USB drive to install to. If you are installing to a USB drive, make sure it is at least USB 3. Okay, it's got to be a fast drive. USB 2 just will not work right. So make sure you are indeed using USB 3 drives. All right, so the next thing that you are actually going to need is some type of installation media. So I did a video on how to create your USB drive. Now I was going to do Linux Mint Debian Edition, the beta, uh, but I cannot get the thing working. I tried about six or seven different installation methods. Um, I'll abandon the idea and try it again when the official release comes out. Um, unless I hear uh, anything else that, that will help me figure out what the issue is, but I'm not fighting with it anymore. So we're going to go with Solace um, because that's another distro I've wanted to run for a more extended period of time and, and, uh, and try out. So we're going to be installing Solace on this external hard drive. Um, the other things you're going to need, uh, you will most likely need a screwdriver to open up your computer so we can uh, safely disable the uh, existing hard disks and some type of flashlight. I generally prefer a nice old headlamp. Um, and this way, you know, my eyes will follow, follow around and uh, be able to see what's going on. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started with pulling out the computer. All right, so we are going to be installing this onto my Lenovo. Uh, so this Lenovo has uh, the A8 5500 3.2 gig processor. Uh, so that's kind of what's in here. And this is just a standard. I picked this guy up from the store. And uh, what we're going to do is start by coming on over here. And we're going to remove the screws. So if we can kind of see, there's going to be a screw here, and then there's going to be another screw down here. So we're just going to go ahead and unscrew these guys. Let me turn on my light and see a little bit better here. Now, if, depending, you, uh, depending on your climate or whatever else, you may want to have a static guard or nothing else, touch something metal. So like my desk here has actual metal um, metal components uh, so I can touch those to ground myself. So now I'm just going to open this guy up on the side and then we're going to have a look inside the computer. It's a little dusty. I don't have dusting spray or I would probably do that. Uh, dust out a little bit. So let's see if you can see what I'm looking at here. Alright, so over here I have two hard drives. Um, so get this guy a little closer for you. All right, so here we have a couple of hard drives. Um, hopefully the light's good for you. I can't uh, point the uh, light at there and verify on the screen that we're seeing too well. The top hard drive is my HD1. The bottom hard drive is my HD2. So the top is actually a Windows 8 install that hmm, may or may not work. I don't know. I haven't, haven't tried to install it in a while. The bottom one is actually an SSD, which has Linux Mint on it. So what I'm going to do is... All you need to do is just pull the data cables. You don't need to pull the power cables if you don't want to. So we're just going to pull the data cables. Um, and that's going to be sufficient. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back down. I'll just go ahead and leave the cover off. Um, and then what we're going to do is boot up the system with, uh, uh, with everything where it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to reattach the essential cables to turn the monitor on. And we'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we need to make sure that our uh, computer is configured to be able to boot off of a USB drive. So I'm going to boot up the computer and then we're going to actually spam the, in this case I'm going to spam the F12 key. It could be 12, 9, 11, 2, whatever it takes to get to this menu here which is your uh, boot menu. Now this will tell me what I have. I've already plugged in my USB drive which has the, um, the installation media on it. 
Um, but what I want to do here is I want to enter setup. Inside of setup, what I'm going to do is I want to make a few little adjustments. So the first thing is on modern computers, they will have this option here called the secure boot. And you actually want to disable the secure boot. So you'll see mine is, is disabled. Now some Linux distros will uh, play nicely with secure boot. You can replace your Windows secure boot with uh, particularly Ubuntu installs and things like that. I don't bother because I use so many different distributions. All secure boot's going to do is interfere with you attempting to run different operating systems. So I like disabling that. The next thing is over in my startup menu here, I want to adjust my primary boot sequence. So the way I have this computer set up, which runs a variety of different operating systems without and is a pain to open up, um, I always set USB drives first. What this is going to enable me to do is anytime I want to boot off of a Linux distro, as long as it's plugged into a USB port, it will always boot off of those first. Then it's going to go with a hard drive, SATA 1, then SATA 2, then check the DVD drive. So if you're booting things off of DVDs, you might want to move that up a little bit higher. So basically you want it to run down. This is just uh, what sequence order from highest to lowest does it check for a some type of bootable media. All right, so I always keep my USB keys first. That's already set up, so I don't actually need to do anything here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit oftentimes your F10 key, which is going to save the configuration and exit. This is going to reboot the system, and I'm going to go ahead and just let it boot into the only drive available right now, which happens to be the um, Solace installation media. So we're going to go ahead and allow that. So you can see Solace 3 Budgie just showed up on that menu. I'm not sure if you were able to read that or not. Now that that's uh, in the process of booting up, I'm actually going to plug in my um, USB drive here, the target drive. So with the target drive, now we're going to um, be installing onto that. There was just some Linuxy stuff just show up in the upper corner and then it vanished again. So give it just a second and Solace will boot up. So Solace, if you are unaware, is one of the, it's kind of a, a newer Linux distribution that is based on um, it's not based on anything really. Um, its major advantage is it's very clean. It doesn't have a lot of excess stuff in the uh, in the software centers. The downside of Solace is that it doesn't actually like there might be software missing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by clicking in the installation icon. And I do apologize. I have to point a camera at the screen, but it's really the only way I can show you how to run. Um, a, an installation of this sort. So this is running the Budgie desktop, which was created by the Solace project. So here is our installation process. Let me see. All right, so now we need to start by selecting our um, language. I'm not going to allow it to automatically find my location. Pick your US uh, English keyboard. I'm going to manually select my location in New York. Now it's examining local drives. We're going to use the disk. Note that we are going to erase all of the contents of the disk um, to install this. I'm not going to bother with logical management. Um, you might do that if you are thinking about installing something later. And this will be called Solace on my network. And now we need to enter some usernames here. Hopefully my camera stays put for a second. Okay, we're going to add now. It tells me its name. We have administrative privileges, things like that. We're going to hit the next to continue. This is the final setup screen. And now we're going to go ahead and start working. Okay, so it's applying changes here. Um, this uh, is the installation process. This could take, depending on your computer, anywhere from just a few minutes on up to quite a while. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, pause here and we'll come back when this is done working. Okay, it says the system is done. You may now exit the installer. We have an option there to restart now. So I'm going to go ahead and restart now. And then 
when I see that Lenovo screen as it restarts, I'm going to pull out the installation medium, only keeping in my USB hard drive. And with that, then our system should be booting up now into Solace. And we have a boot up screen. Let's go ahead and log into Solace for the first time, see what it's going to have me do. All right, so now we are booted into Solace. You can see, let me back up there and just zoom in on certain areas. Of course, down here is our kind of our menu. We have our system icons over here. And what we're going to do at this point is um, I'm going to go ahead and shut everything down and we'll wrap up. And then what I'll do for my next video is I'll kind of take it from this desktop here and how do I get this system actually working and set back up so that uh, we are set to go. Of course, we did just get a prompt for uh, security updates, and uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and run those while I do my video wrap-up. Okay, so hopefully that helped you get started with Linux. Hopefully um, you'll be able then to install this. Again, this applies to external hard drives, USB sticks, anything. The only really real different step here is that uh, we disable the hard drives, which you should always do if you, uh, if you can. And then if you can't for whatever reason, it's okay if you, um, you can try and install it alongside. You just have to be very careful where that bootloader installs. Um, I'll see if I can simulate that in a virtual box. I'm not completely sure I'll be able to, but um, I'll give it some, some thought. Um, the only last remaining step, which I'm not going to show on camera here, is once everything is working, I'm just going to uh, put the side panel, uh, put the hard, plug the hard drive data cables back in, put the side panel back on, and then reboot the computer. So that is the next step. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy switching to Linux. And don't forget, check the links in the description down below for how you can help support the channel. Uh, we have Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. We have uh, our main support pages at switchtolinux.com forward slash support. And you can pick up uh, merch for a Switch to Linux at shop.switchtolinux.com. So thank you for watching.